Welcome. Welcome to this next part where we're going to talk about memory. Now, some of us think we've got a bad memory. And we go, I can't remember names. No, I have a poor memory. And then when I get into a test, I freak out and I just lose everything. It falls on the floor. No, it really doesn't happen that way. Our minds are photographic. What does that mean? How many of you can remember uh, the, the funny commercials from like the last Super Bowl game? How about the last show that you went to? How many of you went to a really good show and when you walked out you could literally count, you could tell somebody every major scene in the show? You're like some of my friends, they, they've been to like Star Wars so many times, they can, I'll sit there between these two guys and they'll, they'll go, you know, Luke, Luke, my buddy here, will say something, then Luke up there, and then John says something, then Darth says something, and these guys are going just out of sync enough that I'm going, how do these guys memorize this whole picture? Because they were able to keep in line, line by line, all the way through. What kind of mind can memorize that kind of material? Well, it's not that they're so gifted, though they were very bright guys. The issue was is that they tied it in up here with the image. And that's what we need to do whenever we're, we're working with memory is use tools that create a picture and then attach the picture to something that we want to keep. Okay? Now, what's really important about the picture? The picture, and we'll talk about it again and again, the picture needs to be somewhat silly, ridiculous, out of sync, not believable. Because if it's believable, it's forgettable. So what we'll do is when we talk about memory, we're going to talk about the, the three major types of memory tools. One is a thing called a mnemonic. Another is a PEG method. And then the loci method. Now, I will tell you that all of these have been around for thousands of years. Now, how do I know that? You'll hear key phrases frequently that have gone back since, well, in the beginning in the first place. Once upon a time, those are all tools, memory tools, that we used to pass down from one generation to the next, whole books that people could memorize. Okay? So with that, let's get right into this. Mnemonic. Mnemonic is just using the first letter to create some jogger that will help you remember whatever it is you're trying to remember. In, in this, it's just given the first, it's the first letter to give you the word that you need, okay? So like, when I was in school, I had to learn a thing called the hardness scale, okay? Now, to me, the hardness scale was Texas girls can flirt and other queer things can do. Well, that's kind of dumb. Talc, gypsum, chloride, chloride, appetite. I mean, goes all the way down to diamond, doesn't it? See, it was the first letter, and then I made up some silly word and sentence that created something that I could remember real easily. I did some work, uh, some, some work with dominoes and I was trying to teach the guys how to remember their pizza. 